And now in business news, despite the obvious devastating economic effect of COVID-19 on Nigeria, the pandemic has offered opportunity for resilient economy building. This is the view of the central bank governor who is the host of the 13th virtual annual conference by the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Jacinta Obiku reports. The continuity plan under the COVID-19 challenges has been focused on enhancing competency and quality services of the financial services industry in particular and the economic ecosystem in general to share experiences and exchange ideas on contemporary issues affecting the sector and the economy as a whole. Whereas COVID-19 has brought on, several, brought on all several challenges to our economy, and indeed the banking sector, it offers a unique opportunity for us to build a more resilient economy that is better able to contain external shocks whilst supporting growth and wealth creation in key sectors of our economy. The Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, while representing President Muhammad Buhari at the conference, says the theme of the conference is apt and timely. The choice of a team facilitating sustainable future, the role of banking and finance for this year's conference is apt and timely in view of the protracted economic and public health menace of the coronavirus pandemic. They also stress on what banking and other sectors are expected to do amid post-COVID-19. We are also calling on manufacturing companies, those also in the agricultural processing industry should please jump on the train and take advantage of this because it's only by so doing that we can ensure that the productive activity of this economy is improved, improved again and then we can begin to see output numbers going positive and perhaps ultimately avoid a recession. Today, as bankers and as fund managers, you stand in a position to partner with government in its efforts to diversify the economy, reposition the country for a sustainable future. The event, which was held in two different locations in Nigeria, Lagos and Abuja concurrently, in an adherence to COVID-19 measures has over 3,000 key players in different sectors participants registered online for the conference to further enhance the rapid growth, sustainable development of the Nigerian economy. Jacinta Obiuku, Plus TV Africa.